Come with us to a beautiful place where you're only three steps away from a lovely prize. Oh, did we mention? If you lose, you get eaten! Fresh from the savannah, straight to your living room. Put your paws together for Scratch and Sniff! <laughs> hello, hello, and welcome once again to Scratch and Sniff's Den of Doom! <laughs> it's the game show where you're playing to save yourself from a drop into our cooking pot of peril! Yes, that's the fate that awaits all today's contestants. Unless, of course, they're quite smart, in which case they can stitch up their mates. But we're hoping that they're quite stupid, then they're going to end up in our bellies. Right, so who's tough enough to take on the challenge? Playing for their lives today Oh. First up today, it's Omar, and he's only nine years old. Pity he's not going to reach ten. <laughs> Then we have Isaac, who once forgot to lock the loo when he was on a train. Well, the den of doom doors are securely locked, so you ain't going anywhere, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Next ingredient for a pot is Brittany, who refused to tell us what scares her. Maybe facing a couple of starving, hungry hyenas will loosen her tongue. <laughs> <laughs> then there's Dylan, whose favourite hobby is boxing. Yeah, I hope he's not a featherweight. <laughs> I'm starving! <laughs> also playing today is ten-year-old Grace, who's frightened of scary stories. Don't worry, Grace. We'll make sure you have a happy ending today. In our stomachs! <laughs> <laughs> so, there are our five players trying to save their skins and leave the Den of Doom alive. Take him with them. That ultimate prize... What, the, the gift of life? No sniff, something even better. The coveted Den of Doom Duda! Den of Doom is the game where just three steps separate you from life and doom! Get a question wrong and you move one step closer to doom! Whatever. Doom! But get it right and one of your friends takes a step closer to doom! Stop doing that! Let the feast begin! <laughs> Who is going to go first? Let's ask the Dancing Lights of Luck. Isaac, it's you. You're feeling all right? I'm fine. OK, well, you better be, cos we're about to play. Round one. Isaac, what can't most bats do? Walk or swim. Swim. It's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Do you know nothing about bats? Uh, I don't know that much about bats, <laughs> but I know you stink. Thank you very much. What? Well, you're batty. Take a step forwards. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brittany, here's your question. At what age does the human brain stop growing? Is it the early 20s or the middle of your 40s? Mm, middle of the 40s. Oh, I do, do, <laughs> do regret that that's the wrong answer. Please take a step forward, Brittany. Can I ask you a question, Brittany, very quickly? What? Your pigtails. Do they smell of bacon? <laughs> you smell of bacon. <laughs> but you smell of rotten bacon. Thank you for that. Dylan, name the other hyena in The Lion King. There's three hyenas, OK? There's three. One's called Shenzi. One's called, is it Banzai? Banzai. It is, yeah. yeah. But there is another one. Is it Ed or is it Al? Al. Ah, <laughs> you're wrong. Excellent. I'm glad you don't know your hyenas. Step forward. <laughs> Right, Grace, you might want to hold your nose for this next bit. My <laughs> brother here's been eating beans all morning. Take a listen to this. Oh, 
Oh, I think there were lumps. Nothing came out. I think there were lumps in that grave. I yeah, expect more. <laughs> right, now what do you think that was? Do you think that was knick knack paddy whack or row, row, row your boat? Was it row, row, row your boat? <laughs> it's absolutely right, Grace. Oh, how do I do it? Your <laughs> opportunity to nominate one of your fellow team members. Whoa. I'm going to nominate Isaac. Isaac? Ooh! Why are you nominating Isaac? Because I know deep down he's more meaner than you. <laughs> but meaner than us? Really? No, we're not mean. Does he have big ears and teeth? Look <laughs> at the state of him. Isaac, I hate to do this. <laughs> yeah, right. Take a step forward, please. Thank you. Omar, in Elizabethan times, what did men have to pay tax on? Owning a cat? Or having a beard? Was it a cat? No! It wasn't, was it? None. It's having a beard. beard. Having a beard. beard. Step forwards. Isaac, is your second question. And you've got to get this right or you're going to end up on the drop zone. <laughs> All right, here we go. What are camels' humps mostly made of? Is it fat or water? Water. Oh, oh it's a misconception. You'd think that, wouldn't you? You would think, You'd that. think that. It's actually fat. Please, take a step forward. We've done it. Isaac, you're on the drop zone. Could it be the red light? Something told me that. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit scared of you, because I don't like the look of you. You want to take a look down, mate? Yeah. <laughs> that side us, dear idea. Isaac, it's time for your question impossible. If you drop a yellow hat in the Red Sea, what does it become? It becomes a red hat. No, it's a good try, but it's actually wet. It becomes wet. Oh. Isaac? Yep. I don't want to drop him. We've got one of you horrible kids in our pot, one down, hopefully four to go. Time to play Den of Doom, round two. <laughs> Come with us as we consult the dancing lights of luck. Brittany, look who it is. Hello, Brittany. Are you ready to play, Brittany? Yeah. You better be. It's time for round two. <laughs> Brittany, what is unusual about the way elephants walk? Do they skip? Or do they? <laughs> Tippy toe. <laughs> Tippy toe. Oh, they do. Nominate someone, Brittany. Um, Omar. Oh, me, Omar. <laughs> Thank you, Omar. All right, Dylan, is your question, mate. Which food never goes off? Is it corned beef or honey? Honey. Oh. Was that, was that a guess? Mm. Just a guess? Yeah. It was lucky for you yeah. and lucky for us. Dylan, nominate. I'm nominating this person because I think they are smarter than me. I nominate Grace. Grace? Oh, poor little petite Grace. Oh. What do you reckon to that, Grace? Well, I'm not really offended because he's called me smart. That's true. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Step forward. <laughs> OK, Grace, here's your question. What do spotted skunks do before they spray? Do they do handstands? Or do they do... Get on. Oh, Forward rolls. They do handstands. Well done. Well handstands. Done. That's the right answer. Yeah, Dylan was quite right, clearly. Nominate someone, you smart girl. I'm nominating Dylan because he nominated me. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, step forward. <laughs> OK, Omar, you all right, mate? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, soon change that. <laughs> Take a look at this. Roll up, roll up, pin the tail on the donkey, only 50p. Thank you, madam. You can have a go here, you go, old lady. 
Here's your pin. Now make sure you pin it on nice and firm. Nice and firm. Oh, Mark, that was a clip from the movie Shrek. Now, in the movie Shrek, who provided the voice of Shrek? Was it Mike Myers or Eddie Murphy? Was it Eddie Murphy? Scratch, is Omar right or wrong? Ooh, Eddie Murphy, I think he was the donkey, wasn't he, yeah? Mike Myers played Shrek, didn't he? Take a step forward. Thank you. Now then, Brittany, how you doing? All right. Short turn. Are polar bears left-handed or colour-blind? Colour-blind. Oh, oh, what a shame. They're left-handed. Take a step forward. <laughs> All right, Dylan, here's your next question. What did the police wear to give them the nickname The Fuzz? Was it a fuzzy helmet or fuzzy uniform? Fuzzy uniform. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to say yes, but I have to say no. Step forward, please. It was fuzzy uniforms. OK, Grace, what would you be afraid of if you had antlophobia? Would it be deer? Or... <laughs> Flood! Floods. <laughs> Flood? Yeah, that's the right answer. Yeah. Nominate someone. I nominate... Omar. Omar? Oh! Why are you doing that? Because I want to. <laughs> Short, precise, tight. That's what I like. Omar, take a step forwards. <laughs> Dead of <key>. key. <laughs> <laughs> Omar, you ready to be eaten? Yeah. Oh. Take it like a man. Man, yeah. <laughs> Mind you, there is a good chance that you might get this question right. <laughs> <laughs> Except, of course, it's a question impossible. OK, Omar, listen very carefully. Johnny's mum had three children. The first was April. The second, May. What did she call the third? Gonna have to hurry you, Omar. Was it June? That's what you'd think. No, she named him Johnny. Omar? Oh my! That's two down and three to go. Dinner is shaping up nicely. But right now, it is time for you lot out there to stop picking your bums and get involved. It's... <laughs> we want to know what pesky little animal has found its way into Sniff's pants. Here is a clue. <laughs> this furry fellow is long and wriggly, has very sharp teeth, and you wouldn't want him down your trousers. <laughs> oh, what could it be? <laughs> Well, you'll soon find out in just a moment. You all right, Sniff? <laughs> earlier on, I earlier, 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 earlier on, I asked you what animal was down Sniff's pants. Now, this furry animal is long and wriggly, has very sharp teeth. I tell you, you won't want him down your trousers or your pants. <laughs> How you doing, Sniff? He's got my finger! Oh! Oh! No, 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 seriously! I felt that! <laughs> He's a ferret after my own heart! Back to the den of doom! Have you met the children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Earlier on, we stocked up our cooking pot with a couple of kids who have taken a tumble into the den of doom! <laughs> I said, I don't want to drop it. Oh my! <laughs> but it could do with a few more kids to bring out the flavour. <laughs> Let's play! Double drop! Double drop! Double, double, double drop! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Okay, who's going to start this round? Brittany, Dylan Grace, Brittany, Dylan Grace. Oh, I can't decide. Let's ask the dancing lights of luck. <laughs> Grace, it's grace if it's and you're a disgrace, I tell you. <laughs> Let's play. Double drop. <laughs> grace, here's your question. How many train stations are there in Singapore? Is there one? One hundred. One hundred? What do you think, right? Because Singapore is a big place, it's mm. a big country, lots of people, lots of journeys. But no, stupidly, they've only got one station in Singapore. Oh. It's a crowded station. <laughs> Great, take a step forward. Brittany, what is rhino telexomania? A fear of rhinos? Or a study of <laughs> nose picking? Give me that. Fear of rhinos? <laughs> That's the wrong answer. Take a step forwards. All right, Dylan, is your next question. What is the name of a sultan's wife? Is it Sultana or Sultress? Sultana. <gasps> that, was that just a guess? Yeah. It was a good guess. It's very good, actually. For him. Annoyingly. Because it's right. Nominate. Um, I nominate Brittany. Right. Brittany? Why are you nominating Brittany? Um, because I think if it's me and Grace, the last two, I reckon it'd be really close. Yeah, that's very true. I think that's one. That's where my money is. Okay, Brittany. Step forwards. <laughs> Grace, where are our fuzzy ducks? Are they at the Brighton Pavilion or the Taj Mahal? The Taj Mahal. Oh, that's the right answer. <laughs> Who do you want to nominate? I'm going to nominate Dylan. Wow, well, we should have done Brittany then, because she's right on a drop zone. Yeah, right. All right, quick. Dylan, Dylan, you all right, mate? Yeah. Take a step forwards. All right, Brittany, here's your next question. And uh, you better get this right, otherwise you're going to end up on the drop zone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm warning her, I want her there. <laughs> what was the first fruit eaten on the moon? Mm. Was it a banana or a peach? <laughs> A banana. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a very good guess. I love bananas, but it was peach, darling. Take a step forward. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, we have a head-to-head -head between Dylan and Grace. Dylan, here's your question. Roughly, how many pints of milk would it take to fill the Statue of Liberty? Would it be four million? <laughs> or eight million? Eight million. Eight million is the right answer. Take a step forward, Grace. Grace, what can help you stop crying whilst cutting onions? Chewing gum or whistling loudly? Is it chewing gum? Chewing gum is the right answer. Dylan, take a step forward. Dylan, here's your question. On a postage stamp, which way does the Queen's face point? To the left or to the right? To the right. You say the right, yeah? Yeah, the right. You realise if you get this wrong, you're for the pot, yeah? Yeah. Okay, it's to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, take a step forward. <laughs> well, guys, you two turn out to be the dumbo ones, do you? I'll say. <laughs> bye bye, Brittany, bye bye. <laughs> Be gone! Den of Doom! Hey, Grace, <laughs> you've done it. You made it to the final of Den of Doom. You're just one question away from becoming a winner. Oh, do you want to have a look at the awards you might have won? Okay. Yeah, just... Hey! Come on. We're not ready for that yet. Wrong, Jeff. That nearly brought an end to your fairy tale adventure, eh, Grace? No way, Scratch and Sniff. I'm going to live happily ever after. Well, let's see as we play the final of Den of Doom. Grace, we're now going to ask you your killer question. When you have an answer, go and stand on your chosen 
drop zone. Grace, how are you feeling? Nervous. Just nervous? A little bit. Can't smell anything. <laughs> I can smell you. Thanks a lot. You're going dang early. <laughs> Grace, here is your killer question. Grace, which of these is a martial art? Is it one, sushi? Two, origami. Origami. Three, chop suey. Chop suey. Four, kamikaze. Kamikaze. Or five, jujitsu. Jujitsu. It's down to you then, Grace. Grace, your ten seconds starts. Now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. She's gone right down the end there. Yes. She's gone right down to jujitsu. Yeah. Is that a place? Yeah. It's outside Dublin, isn't it? Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. I wonder if she's right. Let's find out. Grace, let's see if you're right. I can tell you, it wasn't number one, sushi. <laughs> Neither was it number two, origami. <laughs> It wasn't even number three, Chop Suey. Wanger! That leaves two drop zones. One right and one wrong. Scratch. <laughs> Put Grace out of the misery. Certainly. Will you pull the wrong lever? It's not kamikaze. It was jujitsu. No! No! Grace won, Grace won, Grace won. I lost my bet. Come here, come here. Grace, you've won. You're a winner, all right? Yeah? Don't jump for joy. Stand still. You mustn't tell anybody about the other four children. That's okay? right. OK. Then you can have the award. Give her the prize. All right, then. There you go, Grace. Well done. Heavy, innit? See you, then. Clear off. There we go. Do you know, it might be a good idea if there's no witnesses. I think you're right. Rover, fetch. You've been watching Scratch and Sniff's Den of Doom. We hope you've enjoyed the show and would just like to point out that no children are ever eaten during the making of the programme. No, that's right. Only before and after the show. <laughs> 